Wednesday, April 22nd, is Earth Day. And of course, we know that a lot of people uh, at home right now are probably getting their spring cleaning done. Uh, but there are ways to ensure that uh, the earth and the environment are top of mind. Uh, so joining me now from Transition Cornwall Plus's Waste Reduction Group is Kat Rendek. Welcome, Kat. Hi, thanks for having me. All right, so what are some simple things that people can do while they're at home and spring cleaning to uh, keep the environment uh, as a priority? Yeah, uh, so there's lots and lots of stuff we can do. Um, I think when we're at home a little bit more, we, we look around us and we kind of start this purging thing um, as a family, which is really great and super healthy. So the waste reduction group is just encouraging people to think about the environment a little bit as they do that. So uh, one of the easy things that families or households can do is to actually create little um, receptacles in their home so that they recycle things properly. So one example, and this is me just sort of reusing little uh, produce containers, I actually have them labeled for different things that can be recycled at home and then through hazardous waste uh, here at our landfill. So it's just keeping track. Um, and it kind of encourages you, reminds you, oh no, we don't put that in the garbage. There's a special way to recycle that. And uh, we have all of those different things listed on the Transition Cornell Waste Reduction uh, website, but also on our Facebook page. So if you have questions about what can be recycled for um, hazardous waste, uh, tune into our social media channels and we'll help you sort of develop your little receptacles. But it doesn't need to be anything fancy. I would definitely encourage, you know, reuse what you already have at home. Don't go out and buy anything. It can just be cardboard boxes. Um, and uh, this way, sort of everyone's on the same page. And then when the, the containers get full, you just take them to hazardous waste and they're going to take care of that for you. Now, knowing that right now our municipal, municipal uh, hazardous waste is not being collected, just hold on to them for a little bit longer. Um, there will be a point when you can uh, take this in and uh, we just want to encourage people to not not wait. Like you might as well wait. Uh, don't throw in the garbage. Um, there will come a time when you can uh, dispose of this and recycle this properly. So that's kind of my number one big number one tip. But the other thing um, we know that a lot of people are outside in their gardens right now or walking outside. So one of the things we would love to encourage is that people do a little spring cleaning in their neighborhood if they're out walking. So to uh, in their yard, pick up all the, the trash that might be blowing around, uh, put that to the curb, recycle things if you can. Um, any way that sort of we as residents can clean up our environment community after the snow melt, um, that's really gonna help our planet and, and help our community thrive. So let's, so, perfect. So let's just talk, jump on that for a second about how this yeah. helps the, the earth, how this helps the planet, uh, because we know that on the top of everybody's minds right now, of course, is, is COVID-19 and the pandemic. Uh, but talk to me about why uh, the environment and taking care of it is still important to think about. Yeah, so I mean, it's always important. And I think uh, right now is um, we're kind of at home, sometimes we're thinking a little bit more about what's happening in our life, but we are still very much connected to our natural ecosystem and we want to spend the time uh, to make sure that our environment is healthy. Uh, when our environment is healthy, um, we are healthier. And so uh, the little things that we can do to kind of give back to our environment is going to go a long way. Excellent. So again, people are stuck at home right now. What else can they do? Maybe little things that they can maybe, is there any do-it-yourself projects, little things that they can do to maybe make their home a little bit more eco-friendly? Oh my gosh, so many. Um, really, like there's just sort of a, a plethora of ideas out there right now to reuse and uh, recycle as much as we can at home. Um, I know sort of myself, a lot of the things that I'm doing uh, are about recycling um, materials and putting them into the so even things that you have at home, you start some or create impromptu planters and, and growing some herbs on a windowsill. Uh, all of that is going to be great. And it's going to avoid putting things into the landfill and into recycling. Um, there's also, I mean, just things like mending your clothing um, or reusing uh, textiles for rags if you're cleaning a lot. Um, so not necessarily using disposable cleaning uh, paper towels or things like that, but actually using cloth and then putting that in the laundry, disinfecting it through the laundry cycle and then reusing it again. So those are ways to avoid throwing away textiles, but also throwing away those paper disposable cleaning products. So if, uh, if you're kind of looking at those types of behaviors around your home, those are going to be really great um, techniques.
Excellent. On that note, Kat, uh, I want to thank you very much for joining me and uh, sharing your expertise. And uh, let's all remember Earth Day 2020 is Wednesday, April 22nd. And uh, let's take care of our Mother Earth. Thank you.